Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarish channel. This is episode 45 on carpentry works on lentil. All right. Once again I want to say thank you to everybody for sticking with us. We are so grateful. Thank you. Uh, Madam Victoria, I'm so grateful. You showed us an appreciation. My wife and I are so grateful. Previously from episode 44, our total expenditure from episode 44 was 31,375 Ghana cities 8 pesos. That gave us a total block summary of 2,800 blocks. And these 2,800 blocks took us to a total height of um, 10 courses of the blocks laid up. So as you can see, all the blocks have been laid up to 10 courses. When you count the block from the ground to the top, it will give you 10 layers. Okay, we call them courses, 10 courses. So right now, we are, what we have to do next is the lentil. Okay, we're going to place, the carpenter has to place the board. Okay, the steel bender has to put in the iron bars. And then we're going to cast the concrete on top of all the block work. And this will hold them together. You understand? So on your screen right now, and the materials that are required for us to go to the next phase of the project is what I have listed. Okay, you can take a closer look and then I will explain why I will need these materials. Now I will need I will need wawa board, I will need iron rods, I will need cement. Okay, so let's let's proceed. Item one, I bought blocks. Why blocks? Because right after the lentil, we're gonna lay another two cores of the block work and this will take the room height to a different level such that if you want to do a ducting air condition you have ample space at the top you know you understand if you're going to do um your ceiling buttons okay you have ample space if you're going to do plasterboard pop if you're going to fix a ceiling fan the height of the ceiling fan is also considered such that when you raise your hand when the ceiling fan is running and you raise your hand you will not be able to you know cut off your hands or even touch you you understand so all these are considered when doing the height so after the lentil we go extra two cores or three cores depending on the height you want to achieve so that's why i needed 600 blocks in addition i bought cement for laying the 600 blocks 12 bags and then item three i bought cement for casting the lentil okay which is 15 bags of cement i bought cyberboard in episode 44 you remember i bought a cyberboard okay so now i have to add an additional 18 pieces that gives me 36 pieces for the board and this 36 pieces is going to be working on one section of the apartment and once we are done casting we will move the boards and move it to the other portion of the apartment so it's going to be like a shifting cultivation you get the point if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> yeah so that's how that it is what it is yeah so we i'm just doing a shifting cultivation one apartment is done i'll just shift it to the other apartment i don't want to buy a whole set of boards no that's a waste of money all right so item five i bought bamboo bamboo is going for four Ghana cities okay this is going to be used in supporting those um, beams and the beam plate i will explain beam plate for you so that you understand especially to mr tony and olivia okay beam plate i will explain that to you from here we did some sawmill works i will explain later transportation for carrying the cement okay and the cyber boards okay the 18 pieces of the board is 140 i bought water for casting the lentil i bought nails it's going for 70 ghana cities i bought three boxes i bought concrete nail which is going for 40 ghana cities in my area i don't know how much is they're going for in your area though beam plate okay we did beam plate cutting it, it cost me 20 ghana cities and then the all these people or these land guys are for boys the earlier one came, the, the, the earlier one that came, they said they were land guards. This one says they are Asafo boys. And they were just worrying this whole area, Gomua Fete, you know, Kakraba, all this area. They're just disturbing people here and there. So we have to give them another 450. In episode 44, you know, I paid 1,500 to these land guards and it was receipted. Again, I have to pay 450. Okay, that gives me a total um 
um, expenditure in this episode 45 to 5,909. Okay, with a total block summary of 3,400. Okay, yes, because earlier on in episode 44, we spent 2,800 blocks. Now I have added an additional 600 blocks, which will be laid after the casting the lentil. Okay, so that will take me to a total block summary of 3,400. All right, so item 11, which I talk about beam plates, I will be explaining the beam plate to you. Beam plates are sold when you go to the wood market. If you're using a five inches block, okay, we have a beam plate for five inches block. We have a beam plate for a six inches block. Okay, I will explain that because I want to show you so that you understand properly. All right, so now these are the things we need in order for us to proceed to the next phase of the project. So let's go. As of now, we've purchased our blog. Okay, blogs, I normally purchase them from DMK, DMK Block Factory. This DMK Block Factory is located in Liberia Camp. Okay, I just call them and then they deliver the blocks. I don't pay any transportation. All right. So yes, we have hollow blocks, solid, you know, what type of pavement blocks, everything is available at DMK. You can contact them. I'll put the numbers on the screen. You can contact them and they will deliver everything that you need in Kaswa, towards Winneba, all those environs, Pokiasi, Bojiasi, I say Pokiasi, Bojiasi rather, Millennium City, they will come and deliver the blocks to you. Now, after the materials, there comes workmanship. Okay, so material cost is different and workmanship is different. So always try to, you know, to differentiate that. Workmanship is different from material, you know, um, expenses. So once you're buying your materials, you should know that this is what I'm buying. You can control your materials. When an artisan gives you a quantity, you can tend to reduce it because sometimes they, they overestimate and you buy the materials and they become waste. So when they give you, try to reduce them. When it's finished and they need more, we can still go and buy. You understand? So workmanship as well, you can bargain with them. When they give you, okay, I'm charging you for X, Y, Z, you can bargain. So item one is workmanship for casting the lentil. It's 520. I will explain the 520 for casting the lentil. Item two is the carpenter's workmanship. He's charging 1,500. Earlier on, he charged me 2,500. He charged me 2,500. Okay, but because my in-law had casted most of the pillars, okay, all by himself with the pieces of wood, okay, we had to rebuild again the workmanship because there's no more pillars. It's just the lentil and few inches of the pillars left, and so we had to begin again. So it came to 1,500. The workmanship for laying the six. 100 additional blocks which I have just purchased okay that workmanship is going 1020 Ghana cities why because one mason is going for 90 Ghana cities and then the laborer is going for 80 Ghana cities that gives me 170 okay per day this 170 per day multiplied by 600 by 6 because 600 blocks is for 6 days in a day a mason will lay 100 blocks averagely some people lay 120 blocks per day, but averagely they should lay 100 blocks per day, which constitute to two bags of cement. And therefore, if I have 600 blocks, that is for six days. Six days, I multiply six days by the workmanship, which is one mason, one laborer. So masons charge 120 Ghana cities and the laborers. 90 Ghana cities. So, whichever bargain you have with the mason, you multiply that by the number of blocks available. That is why I have 1,020. That gives me a total of 3,040 Ghana cities. Now, in summary, cost of material was 5,909. Okay, workmanship is 3,040. That gives me a ground total of 8,949. That brings me to a date a day to day expenditure from episode forty four we spent thirty one thousand three hundred and seventy five Ghana cities and now in this episode 
46 or 45 and 45 i'm spending 8949 that gives me a total you know expenditure of 40,324 so from when i began the first floor blog work up to now i have spent 40,324 Ghana cities it's best i think it's reasonable okay it is reasonable Mm. I've had, you know, some assistance from my in-law that's casting of the pillars. If I factor those into it, definitely it will not go that much. It will go around 41, 42. Now, what you see right now is what we call the beam plates. Okay. So those are the beam plates being placed in the windows and the doors. And these, the iron rods are going to run on them. And then they're going to put the, the, the wire board uh, along the edges on the left and on the right to cover it up and then the iron rods will be in the middle because it is the lentil beam these are called beam plate beam plate we have special wood for beam plate which is if you if you if you used five inches block we have one by five okay one by five you know beam plate if you use a six inches block we have one by six you understand so that's it if you don't want to buy those wood you can just buy a normal life for me i bought one of these boards okay i bought eight well, i bought 18 pieces plus another 18 giving me a 36 so i bought an additional one piece and i took it to the sawmill and i asked them to cut them into beam plates for me you understand instead of buying the special beam plate board i just decided i use one of these um wawa boards and then I took, I took it to the sawmill. I asked them, I used five inches block, so cut it into five inches, you know, the measurement for me. And then the carpenters used it for, for the windows and the doors. So in your screen, Joshua Edem, my carpenter, has done his work beautifully. Okay. You can contact Joshua Edem. He's so fantastic. He's so fantastic. He, right at my side, he got two contracts. You know, because of the way he does his work so beautiful there are so many things he did like this one this arc okay he he did this for me and there are so many things he did which i'll be sharing with you okay creativity in the highest he did all of that for me and i was so impressed with him his work is solid very solid okay so once he's done with this then the steel bender will come and place in the iron rod which is the lentil beam rods. They will place it in all of them and then they will lock it. They have to lock it. Once it is locked, the carpenter will then brace the top such that when they pour in the concrete, it will not expand. So you just put a piece of wood on top and then hit the nail on the left and on the right to hold the two boards together. And that is what we call brazing. They will brace the board. Are you getting it? yes and then after that the masons will come and do their casting once it is done and dried within 24 hours it is okay you can remove the boards you understand and that's why you need to make sure the, the the cement is also good it is rich you understand so that's joshua adam's work if you need my carpenter contact joshua adam he's very good with roofing mm, my goodness he's very good with that contact joshua adam on the, the number on the screen for masons i have acquisi NP, superb fantastic gentleman okay he does parapet design fence wall design pillar design his plastering is on point i mean if you need trustworthy masons please contact these guys okay i have actually paired the two acquisi entry and alex Dankwa, and he's also fantastic very honest and sincere okay so um, i have paired them because i've asked acquisition trees to move from Kumase to come so the two of them are going to be working together isn't this fantastic it is good the two of them mesh together good ideas they will share ideas i have michael fasa who is another mason he's the one working on my project right now okay fantastic mason he will also come with a squad so together we have formed a company so if you need our services just let me know and we will come and be of help to you okay all of us will come together as a team and then we will come and work for you i have a carpenter i have a steel bender i have my masons i have a plumber i have an electrician if you need a domestic wiring you contact 
Mr. Isaac in Cancer for your local domestic wearing. If you need American 110 220, you have to contact my boss, Mr. Frank Hammond, which I've already displayed in my earlier episodes. You understand? So you can contact them and they will be of help to you. As of now, our total blog work is 3,400. Okay, 3,400. So in our next episode, we're going to see what have been done so far. Now we are waiting because the carpenter is done. We're going to cast the lentil and then we'll move on to the next portion of the apartment. And then when that is done, I believe I will share that with you. Thank you for taking time of your busy schedule to sit to watch my channel. I'm grateful. God bless you wherever you are. If you like this content, please subscribe. If you haven't, give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up will push it for wider audience okay yes and then also share it with family and friends i believe you've learned something from here okay in case of anything please drop me an email my name bryce antonio at outlook.com from me to you it's shalom god bless you wherever you are bye bye